What's up everyone, I'm Mike, the brainchild behind Audio Architects. For those who are already subscribed, it's good to see you back for more. If you're a first timer and you're into speakers, amplifiers, CD players, subwoofers, headphones, pretty much all things audio, you're in the right place. It would be best if you stuck around for a bit because I will explain what the difference is between CD players and CD transports and why it could possibly sway your decision when buying one. Stay tuned. First, I would like to explain the difference between the two formats, why it's essential to know the difference between them and how they correlate. A CD transport is a device that allows the digital information transporting your music from all those ones and zeros to an external DAC, which is a digital to analog converter. A DAC converts all those ones and zeros into an analog signal that will then go to your stereo and then on out to your speakers. I know it may sound a bit complicated, however, it will all make sense in a second. So can a CD player be just a transport? Yes, of course. As long as your CD source device has some type of digital output like optical, coaxial, BNC, you know, you can use an external DAC or even use the DAC that comes with a certain integrated amplifier if it's really good. I know what you might be thinking, why do people do this? Isn't this overcomplicating a process that could just be plugging in those red and white cables into my amplifier? Well, that's the thing. A CD transport, which as I mentioned, your CD player or even maybe even your DVD player can act as a transport, allows you to control which digital analog converter is converting your music. Many audiophiles, including myself, feel this is important because depending on what type of DAC is being used, it can impact the sound quality coming from your speakers. Now, with a nice high-end CD transport, you are paying for more than just a conduit to your DAC you must take into consideration that these more expensive transports offer isolated power supplies, improved error correction, and excellent quality outputs, which are all things people could or may not even care about. Still, it does in fact have an influence on the quality of the music you're exposing your ears to. Now, if you wanna keep it simple and just connect your CD player to your stereo and call it a day, that's perfectly fine too. A few things to keep in mind and consider is what type of DAC does it have? How's the build quality? Did the manufacturer consider jitter and noise and did they construct a device that will combat these types of annoyances? There's a lot of different variables. But look, I don't wanna tell you how to spend your money because I know that money isn't falling from the skies, especially in these times. So a CD player could mean a considerable expense for some, but at the same time, you don't want something you will want or need to replace anytime soon. There are some gray areas too, which we will go over those in just a quick minute. But uh, before we enter the gray area, I wanna ensure everyone is on the same page. CD players connect directly to your stereo or preamplifier and are ready to go, plug and play. A CD transport that is just a CD transport requires a DAC to function, and the sound signature can be manipulated depending on the DAC you use. Okay, I hope we're good. Hope you understand. If you are still a bit hazy on the subject, drop a comment below, and I will take some time and answer your questions. I love answering questions, especially when they're pretty wild. Okay, gray areas. The used market and vintage audio. Most people, I would hope, take care of their things. So you can check out eBay, Hi-Fi Shark, Macari, Facebook, Marketplace, and even your local thrift store. Craigslist only if you're really desperate to find a grail item. We, we audio nerds refer to a grail item as a fantastic find in the used market you have been really wanting, a sort of holy grail piece of audio history. But regardless, these are great places to find quality CD players at a fraction of the cost of buying you. And you also have, in some cases, decades of research and reviews to make sure you're investing in a quality product. Many reviews and content being produced on brand new items today are being pumped out so quickly, the product hasn't even had a chance to prove its actual worth. I mean, <laughs> 
take your time with this hobby, guys. It's often the thrill of the hunt that is most satisfying. So that's why I do enjoy the used market. I hope I have been of some help in shedding light on these two different types of CD devices. After doing some market research online, I've definitely discovered that the general consensus prefers a CD player under $1,000. So I will list a few that I would consider in the description below. I think no matter what direction you choose to travel with this particular purchase, share it with us in the comments. Let us know what you got and why. Also, if you have one already or, or the other, I would love to hear your experiences and feedback as well. Tell me what kind of you know, player or transport you have. So thank you all for joining me. If you're already subscribed, thank you. I do have a Patreon you can join to help support the channel. If you are new to the channel and like it so far, I really encourage you to check out some of my other videos to see if my channel is a right fit for you. And I would love for you to end up subscribing and joining me on my hi-fi journey throughout audio. <laughs> thank you again for spending some time with me, guys. Take care and we'll see you next time.